All right, so very few people know some of the very specific policies that Google puts out. It's pretty surprising what they say versus what you might hear as a business owner in relation to paying for search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is a unique thing. It is something that's a craft and an art and it requires all types of moving parts to be successful. Sometimes you don't know why something's ranking so well and it's very difficult to tell because there is a lot of things that you can't necessarily see in relation to search engine optimization. Now, it's important to understand the difference between search engine optimization and paid online advertising because Google, for example, offers both. But the real point of this video is I wanted to go over some of the very specific policy points that Google puts out in relation to hiring an SEO or online advertising person to work for you. And some of the things that might really surprise you. Now, if you take a look, you can see that I'm on support.google.com, webmasters, answer, and some numbers. Basically, this is just a specific answer that's laid out here. And what they're doing here is laying out the steps on how to hire, specifically the questions to ask, what to look for, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, when you're hiring an SEO to work for your company. So one of the first very prominent points I want to point out, and that is right down here, this last sentence right here. Now this is referring to hiring an SEO company or an SEO individual. I'm going to read it aloud. If they guarantee you that their changes will give you first place in search results, find someone else. Now this is Google writing this. And you can, again, you can go to this link up here, which I'm going to put in the description, and you can read this yourself. So you might be asking yourself, you know, I get 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 emails a week saying, will rank you on the top of Google. There's two things you have to think about. Any SEO could say, well, yeah, we'll rank you on the top of Google, but maybe you're gonna pay for advertising and be ranked on the top of Google. Not a natural organic result. And the term organic just means, you know, it's natural, meaning someone searches for black men's socks and the listings that come up number one that aren't advertisements are organic results. There's another sentence I want to point. There's so much of this I want to go over, but again, for brevity and just getting some quick pointers in the contrast that Google puts out there in relation to a lot of the marketing and promotion that you might hear, it's very important to understand Google's policies on this because I hate to say it, but there's countless, countless horror stories from business owners having terrible experiences with online marketing, paying tremendous amounts of money, getting little or no results, and sometimes just completely upside down and backwards. But when SEO and Google advertising is leveraged correctly, ethically, you can get great results and great return on investment. And it shouldn't be any other way. Unless you just have a product or service that nobody wants at all, ever, something can work for you. So I'm gonna read this sentence right here. While SEOs can provide clients with valuable services, some unethical SEOs have given the industry a black eye by using overly aggressive marketing efforts and attempting to manipulate search engine results in unfair ways. Again, Google puts tremendous amount of emphasis on results, ethical practices, and doing things by the book. The same way that a contractor would build a house by the codes of the ground the house is being built on, codes meaning the laws, the rules, the correct woods, the correct nails, screws, anything that they would be required for the type of job or home they're building. We want to think about SEO the same way. You want to use all the correct tools, the recommendations, the standards, and follow and adhere to those principles. Otherwise, you're not going to get a desirable result or an unexpected result of some other kind that's not optimized and optimum. 
So it's way better to just do it right the first time and get off the ground running and build up and build up and build your online presence and get the results that you deserve and expect and begin earning and return on your investment. Well, that's all I have for you today on this. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.